Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up, who have you made better. It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life, and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with Him, but He always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show, or you can just Google my name. Folks, Monday morning motivation, starting the week under God. Are you starting the week with, uh, week with God in your life? Do you start to feel dread settle in your stomach sometime Sunday afternoon? For many, Monday morning brings a lot uh, of anxiety, a long week of full challenges. Instead of starting the week off feeling pressured, Christians can kick off their week by getting motivated through God's word. Here's some Monday morning motivation for the week ahead for all of you out there. You want to find rest. Come to me, all you are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls in Matthew eleven twenty eight through 29. One of the reasons Monday mornings are such a mental drain in that most people know that the amount of work ahead of them. You feel like the Greek mythology uh, character uh, Sisyphus, who was forced to spend Every day, rolling a heavy boulder up a hill, only to have it roll back down again. Just looking at the work week ahead wears you out and makes you lose sleep at night. Instead of looking at your heavy load, start Monday morning in a prayer. Start every morning, but especially Mondays. Tell God all of your concerns for the week ahead. Shift the burden to his strong shoulders and find rest for your mind. And for your spirit. I, I want you to, if you can, seek some peace this morning. Somewhere you can find some peace. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, since as members of one body, you will call to peace and be thankful. In Colossians three fifteen. 
Mondays may fill you with anxiety because you know all things that could go wrong. Your to-do list seems impossible to complete. Work requires more than you feel you can deliver. Your kids have a long list of commitments. If you're homeschooling, you may wonder how to juggle parenting and teaching at the same time. As soon as the alarm goes off, your brain floods with stress. Find relief from worry uh, by seeking the peace only God can provide. When you set your alarm Sunday night, thank God that he will be present for every moment of the week ahead and he will hear your cry every time you feel anxiety within you. I'd like for you to receive direction. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. The grind of the work week compared to the relaxation offered by weekends and family time can be dramatically shifted. You might be facing a number of decisions this Monday morning as you're watching me. It isn't always easy to know which path to choose from, but God speaks to us through his word and promises to give us wisdom and guidance for all our decisions. Find a daily devotional plan that encourages you to spread time in scripture and find direction for the week ahead. Instead of entering your week already exhausted and filled uh, with anxiety, start with renewed faith and fresh purpose. Spend your weekend with positive entertainment like Christian movies, Christian music that teach the fruit of the spirit and embrace the week ahead with Monday motivation from God's word. Call me at 844-405. Help. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to any stranger can help that stranger change their day and change their life. And it could possibly make a difference in your life. Start Monday morning knowing that God will guide and direct you. Start Monday morning knowing that God is on your side. And start Monday morning knowing that you are loved by the Holy Spirit. God himself. Take good care. We'll talk to you tomorrow and may God bless each and every one of you. Take care. Bye-bye now.